I think that deserves a song from all of us. Yeah. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. yourself bringing me presents uh, because it's your birthday <laughs> that's why no but i didn't want to celebrate it i have celebrated enough dad no celebration is too much to demonstrate your love for us i mean we're happy for you you are the one that had made me happy you have married and had had uh, beautiful grandchildren for me except kelvin i thought he was coming home from the u.s He's writing his final master's degree exams. Oh, I love that boy. Both of you should assure me that you will encourage him to get married this year when he returns. Never mind that. That has been a ring. <laughs> Just to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the way both of you really had kept this family together in love and unity all this while is it's enough happiness for me. Look at everyone. Nobody will say you are not all from the same woman. And yet, I married three wives. Dad, the truth is, you are our strength. You know, you have worked all your life building legacies and wealth for us. How can we say thank you? I have done it all. Three wives, children, companies, estate. Really done it all. You've really done really it all. Ah. Dad, um, let's go over to the dining and see what our mothers have for us. Okay. After you. Hey. Hey. 
And who is going to foot the bill? I will. No, no, I will. Are you looking for me? <laughs> See, I'm very glad that this has given me an opportunity to know how much the children love. Uh -huh. Oh, just your children. No, everybody. I can't wait for your next birthday. <laughs> This food is so tasty. I can't believe we cooked it. Of course, we always cook good food. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, are you okay? All right. Dad, are you sure you don't need water? I can manage. Okay. Are you sure you're okay? <coughs> Dad? Honey? Are you sure you're okay? Drink and um, celebrate to what would I call it? Ah, oh, yes, uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> All right, here we are, sweetie. My sweet darling. <laughs> here you are. I'm gone. 
pull yourself together. All the brownies in the house, the wines in the house, bring them out because when I come back, we'll celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait for that celebration. The smell of money. <laughs> hmm. Yes, come in. Good day, Boris. Hello, Mr. Nega. Yes. How are you? Very well. Please sit down. Thank you. So, how is everybody? Very well. Well, uh, Barista, I'm here concerning my father's death. Your father is what? dead? Dead? Oh my god, when did this happen? Oh, uh, it happened uh, just today, this morning. Oh, Chifunaga. My good beloved father. He died a happy man. Oh, we do good friends. This is rather a shock to me. It is to all of us who love it, but God knows best. Um, well, uh, Barrister, I am um, here for something very important. The will. The will? What? It's not to be read until after the burial. I know. But I'm here to make you an offer. An offer? An offer I know you cannot refuse. You see, Barrister, you are the only one who knows the content of the will. And you're the only one that can change it. Change the will? That's unprofessional. It's unethical. Well, uh, I rather consider it a business. And I want you to consider it a favor that I'll pay you for. But you don't even know the content of the will? Like I said earlier on, it is only you that knows the contents of the will. And it is only you that can also change it. Barista, I am not offering you one, but two million pounds. My friendship with your father is what one of that. I see. Then let's make it five million. You can't refuse that. I made your father a promise. A promise on my honor that the will shall be executed to the letter. And now he's dead? Yes. But the trust is not dead. Barrister, five million now. What are you saying? No. It's what I am saying. <laughs> You see, Barrister, I have always known lawyers to be very conservative people. But five million naira is a lot of money. But one, two, three, four, five, five whole million naira. It is a lot of money. Well, it's okay. When you change your mind, as I'm sure you will.
it. More embarrassing? Oh, good morning, Luna. Thank you. I went to the old office and was given this address. Yes, we just moved in. As you can see, we are just trying to settle down. Yes, I can see. I was actually on my way to see your father's account officer. Account officer? Yes. What for? Well, you called to tell me he's there, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, his will has to be read after the burial, so I have to prepare the execution of the will. Hmm. That's why I came. Can we sit down? Oh, why not, please? Thank you. Well, I brought this for you. What is that? It's a car. A car? What for? Give it to your wife. Tell her it's a gift from me to her. What exactly do you need from me? Why a car at this time? You see, I don't know what my father may have put down in his will, but there are particular things I want. So, you want the will uttered in your favor in case if those things weren't willed to you? Exactly. I'm glad we're singing the same song. I am sorry, Luna. That can't be done. Barista, I will give you 15 million naira in cash. I have so much respect for your late father. And the only way to keep that respect, even in death, is to religiously execute his will. It's my father we're talking about. He's dead. You see, it's not as if I'm not going to get anything from the will, but there's something I want you to do for me, and that's why I came. Your late father trusted me. Sorry, I cannot betray that trust. If you don't mind, I must be on my way now. If you change your mind, let me know. Thank you. If I change my mind, I will let you know. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of you for the strength you've all shown over Papa's death. We all loved him and we will all miss him. But the time has come for us to show him the greatest honor due in death, and that is to bury him. His burial comes up this Saturday. Uh, what Saturday are you talking about? Are you talking about Chief's burial or something else? Our husband has barely died. We can't bury him overnight. Well, as the eldest son, I'm just carrying out his wish that he be buried immediately. Well, we are not aware of such wish. Well, I am. Yes, as the eldest wife, he informed me. He also told me that I didn't take him seriously. He said he'd be buried a week after his death. And then a year later, <clears throat> we should celebrate his anniversary in a grand style. But I, I feel that's rather too early. We have not informed people. When will they start arriving? For your information, it is not a social gathering. Well, I have put the news of his death in all the major media houses. I've also informed the town union, the age grade, and any other persons who need to be informed. And uh, it's going to be strictly a family affair. No guests. But Kelvin, my son, is not yet back home. I mean, because of his studies. It's unfortunate we can't wait. Yeah. Besides, if he comes back, he's not going to bring Papa back to life. Oh, really? He has not seen his father for the past two years, all because of his studies. That's rather unfortunate. Huh? Death is to be blamed. Well, if he wishes to see his father's cops, he had better come earlier. Is that what all of you have agreed? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, let me tell right. you the plans, because we're all going to make contributions. You sent for me, Mom? Yes. Um, you're rather rushing this burial. Well, it must hold this Saturday. Have you seen the will? The lawyer is proven too stubborn. Stop being stingy. I'll find me a good sum of money. I've done that already. 15 million naira and he turned it down. Really? Then that means Stephen and his mother must have gotten to him first. I don't think so. Then how come he's not objecting to this early burial? That baffles me. I mean, father never mentioned uh, anything to me or him. You have to be very careful. You have to watch Stephen. Don't trust him. Please, thread carefully. Okay? I'll handle him. 
Let me go and attend to some of my friends. Okay. Very special. Something I know you like. Your favorite. This. Oh. Are you okay now? <laughs> hmm? Mm. Mm. I heard about the news. What news? Your husband's father's death. Oh, that one. That old mug is finally dead. Do you know that I wanted to live forever? Dead or alive doesn't matter. Honey, what are you talking about? Do you know any time I ask my husband for money, for change of wardrobe, change of car, trips abroad, or to even boost my jewelry business, he runs to that old mug. And guess what he tells him? Nehi. Capital, no. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that your husband doesn't have an account? My husband's account? Sweetheart, my husband's account is like a small glass of water. That old mug runs the sea. <laughs> Honey, why are you laughing? That means we are made. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. No one, that's why you called me. That's why you called me immediately. Come on, girl, you, you naughty know, boy. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> now listen, baby. I need 200k. 200k? Yeah. Oh no, baby, please, please. Don't don't even go there. It's not possible. Come on, till the burial is over. Please. Hmm? Till the burial is over. Baby, till the burial is over, I can't do anything. Okay. So when the burial is over, I'll touch you. Please now. Honey, please. Okay, please, let's go. Let's talk, please. Honey. Sweetheart, please now, let's talk. Please, my boo Okay, I'll give you the money. <laughs> I'll give you the money. Without a promise? <laughs> it's a promise, I'll give you the money. In that case, you have a double action. Oh yeah? Then I'm ready for you, baby. I'm ready. It is um, let Chief Naka's wish that the will be read after his burial. Just that the, the burial came very early. Arista, read the will. And uh, listen. When to obey our father is none of your business. Just go ahead with this will. Barrister, please read this will. We've been waiting. Very well. I, I, I brought along with me Mr. Daniel, who is the late uh, Chief Nakas account officer and uh, estate supervisor. Uh, let me ask, please. Yes. Is this so-called man you brought here 
is it preview of the will before our father's death or you just included him no the will was signed in his presence yes i witnessed it hey, my friend will you shut up and stay away from this barrister proceed with the will we haven't got all the time in the world well uh the will is simple and straightforward it is divided into three parts for the first son of the three wives just that uh I can't see Mr. Kelvin here. Kelvin is in America. Go ahead with the wheel. Listen, Barrister, Kelvin is not important as far as this wheel is concerned. Just go ahead and read this wheel. I am his mother. I stand in here for him. Very well. Um, yes. Well, first of all, it is the wish of Chifun Naka that this house still remain the family house where everyone is welcome and accommodated. For Mr. Nduka, you are to acquire your father's shares in Ernest Bank, worth 500 million naira. The twin duplex at Amadubele Crescent, a duplex at Oneli Street, and another one at Philip Street. A foreign account is also open in your name in Germany with 5 million euros. The toilet roll factory, electronic factory, leather processing and export factory, also belong to you. For Mr. Steve Naka, you are to acquire the transport division with 52 long street buses, a twin duplex at Aguma Street, and the twin duplex at Mbolu Street. You will also acquire his private school with a foreign bank account in your name, worth 5 million euros. The juice and food processing factory as well as the plywood factory belong to Mr. Steve Naka. And finally, for Mr. Kelvin Naka, he will get the three plots of land at Ikoi and the three 20 story properties on the island. This is the old man's will. What sort of, what sort of rubbish will is this? When was this will last reviewed? It was reviewed just two months ago. Well, for your information, Barrister. Two months ago, our father was ill and couldn't have been in a state of mind to do this. Oh, yes! yes. But why all this argument? Sit down! I will not sit down. I will not. If there's anybody that should contest this will, it should be me. Sit down! I will not sit down! Sit down! I will not! Sit down! 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 Son, Steve. <laughs> Do you know what I find so amazing about you? You're ever so dramatic, mm -hmm. hopping all over the place, thinking it will make some difference. Who the hell is Steve? My son. Oh, your son. Nduka is the man in the South. Do you understand me? And let me tell you something. Ever since you brought into the South to marry my husband, we had started building that property there. So, my dear, you watch out, okay? Don't you ever dare me where the property is concerned. If your son. Unduka, is that important to my husband? He would have placed his name the way he placed Steve's name. Such a big way on this property. Do you actually believe that is Steve's name? Of course. Oh my God, you're such an illiterate. Wow. Good afternoon. It's an angel, man. Um, I wonder what's going on. I, I really don't understand it. We all heard the um, will clearly. I wonder why you should bother anybody that my son got the three twenty-story buildings and um, some twenty plus of land at Ikoi. I mean, compared to what Nduka and Steve got, I don't, don't blame this. you. You walked in here when everyone had finished building whatever it is you're fighting for. Senior, hey, is it? Let me tell you. We have finally. See your rendezvous with that crooked lawyer. Who? Oh. Senior Ijoma, me idiot. Yes. Rendezvous with a lawyer I don't even know. If you had known him, will you ever admit to us? I'm asking you. Senior, why? 
See me each my wife. What would I do to please these ladies? I don't know what to do to please them. What have I done to these women? What? Uh, well, uh, I call this meeting because of the slights that blind lawyer gave to me over Papa's will. And to officially tell you that I'm going to contest that will. Contest. And that I want your support. Contest? What part of the will do you want to contest? The three to twenty story building Papa will to Calvin. Yeah, and I know that that building is mine. Stephen, have you gone not? How can you say Papa will his first legacy? The first building he ever erected. How can you say he waited willed it to you? When did you ever become the first son? Look, look, this has nothing to do with first or second son. You know, as well as I do, that that property is mine. And on that property, your son, is my native name, Amechi. It's been hanging there until late. I don't know if it's with you, if it was your mother or you, that went to remove it. Are you listening? Amechi is only Papa's favorite proverb. And it means, nobody knows tomorrow. Don't be pretentiously difficult. That property is mine and you know that. Support me to get it. Steven. 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 I have called you three times because you're still alive. When that comes, it calls only once. I said it. <laughs> Mama, did you hear me? Oh, so you and your mother now a plan to kill me so you can inherit that property. Stay away from that property before you hear your name only once. Are you threatening me? I ask you again. Are you threatening me? Do you know who I am? Of course I know who you are. You're one blind, fat, he goat. That's what you are. Stay away from that building. Me, you That's what you me. are. Me, me, Stephen. Ndoka, wake up. Ndoka, I say, wake up. Wake up before the descending storm kills you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing would happen to this. You don't have the gods. How dare you? How dare you challenge the son of the tigress right inside her own den? And who is the tigress, if I may ask? Uh, who? Helen, better shut up. Have they even paid your bride price? Yes. Have they paid your Oh, yeah. Please, Ijoma, don't even start. If you want to maintain your prestige in this house, Better shut up, you prostitute. A corner, corner. I am a prostitute. <laughs> At least everybody here knows the popular bottle uh, oh. of my metal caliber. <laughs> you now hotel. You lie. You lie. I don't deny it. It's Unduka, our husband's reason. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. How dare you? How dare you? I swear on your life. Mm, on your life. Never. <laughs> now let me tell you something. At least my husband met me in Luna. He married me. No, he never married me. That's why he said, no, 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 no. He said, no, 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 I want you to carve my name boldly and conspicuously here. Yes, eh? You also do the same thing here and this other building. Okay? Yes, exactly. Eh? Is it uh, your full name or just company name? No, 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 my full name. Ndoka, Naka, and I want to done within five hours. Yes,
Okay. Did I tell you money was my problem? Eh? Do it immediately and get it done very well, okay? okay yeah? Sir. Okay, sir. Luca. Uh, Luca. Luca, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You still have the nerves to ask me? Look, you are digging your own grave. Me? Why you? You, you. Give this place up. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't move. He's just an arrogant fool who will say, meet his doom. Oh, is that what you're calling me? That's what you are? That's what you're calling me? Yes. Luka, that's what you're calling me? Yeah. I'm waiting for you here. You too. Wait here. I'm waiting for you here. Don't mind him. He's just an arrogant fool. that every person passing will see. Oh, you see him? Hey, 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 hey! What's that, you? You see him? What? Why did you do that? What? Why did you do that? You should have waited for me to deal with you. You're coming to claim my own property. I'll make sure you follow her father. After I told you that the property belongs to me, you say I have the ghost to come here. You should have waited. I'm not going to avoid it. Ah! Ah, please hurry up! No, 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 don't bother. Anne is not yet down, please. Anne! Oh my god. Look, Anne! What is the matter with you? Why are you looking like this? And who are these men? That is not important. What is important is what will happen when I set my eyes on Steve. Did Stephen upset you? What, what exactly did he do? He nearly killed me. It's a lie. But I will kill him first. <laughs> Where is that man of his? Can't She will leave this up and laugh. Move it! Move at this! Let me go! Let me go! If I see you in this cupboard again, it will be a funeral! Please, I don't do a funeral, Antoka! How dare you do this to me? Please! How dare you do this to me? You come back, I'll tell you about this! Come back, I'll tell you about this! Come back, I'll tell you about this! Yeah, throw, throw. If you allow her coming to this combat again, I'll kill you. Maybe you have to smoke it. You almost killed me. Let's go. I'll call it. Mama, what, what is it, Mama? Anduka! Yes? You need to see how Anduka brought in strangers to throw me and my things out. Anduka! <laughs> brought strangers to throw you out? Where, 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 are you, where are your things? Where are your belongings? I left everything there outside. I didn't come out with anything. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait a minute, Mama. You mean Anduka had the guts to bring strangers into the family house? To humiliate you, my own mother, 
Nuko did that? That boy that was born in my presence, that idiot who couldn't even finish in secondary school, he's doing this to me. Mama, it's okay. Just wipe your tears. I have been hearing the sound of a trumpet coming from afar. But mistook it for praises and fear of Unduka. Without knowing that it is a challenge, an insult to me, to my person. Mama, that sound has gradually come nearer and closer. Mama, I will make sure that Ndoka dances to the rhythm of that trumpet. I will also make sure that Ndoka suffers the worst humiliation, the worst humiliation of his life, and he will suffer it till he goes down six feet. Mm. I will do that. Mama, go in. <laughs> go in. Barrister, please, you have to step into this. Please, you have to intervene in this conflict. Ndoka is a difficult person. Steve is arrogant and a slow poison the way I see him. I mean, things were not like this. Both of them got larger shares, and I wonder why they want my son's share. So much so that they are at each other's throats. I, 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 I don't understand. Barrister, it's deeper than that. In fact, I'm so, so scared. Do you know Ichoma was thrown out of the house yesterday? And honestly, I don't know how Steve is going to take that. Only God knows who is next. Do you know? Well, I suggest you go to your little advanced friends. Or even his uh, kinsmen. In fact, I've not been seeing them. I don't even know. I hardly see them. I don't even know where they are. Then you ask around. I am sure some of them live in this town. And traditionally, you know there's a way they can handle this. Barrister, I am so, so tired. And it scares me to death, believe me. Well, try and do as I have suggested. Okay. All right, let me start doing it. Yes. yes. Listen, forget. Congratulations on your new home. <laughs> I mean, very spacious. Thank you, very. All right, have a pleasant day. I need to. Thank you. Yeah, all right. to call God, brother. Now, where is that your stupid master? Okay, no, 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 just come out. Just come out with madame. If I find out you're telling me a lie, I will kill you. I have come to speak him. Now, follow me. Start everywhere. Start everywhere. Ah! My mama! I said, I said, I'm going to do this work again. Ah! Where are you? Come out! You hide it! You said you were mad! Come out, let's fight! Let us deal this man to man! Come out! You have me! Let me kill you with my bare hands! You said you were mad! You have money to hide it! Where are you, Stephen? Where are you? Come out! Let's fight! If I ever find out that you are telling me a lie, if I find out you are telling me a lie, 
I will fight them with it. This is the point. Drop your weapon. Drop it. Arrest them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Will you move now? Arrest them. Move it. Move. 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 Hello, honey. Of course, they've arrested him. Oh, good. They're about to came to the police station right now. Very good. Oh, no, darling, don't worry, I'm okay. Okay? Um, I want to go to the police station to give a statement as well. Now, listen to me. I'll be at the police station in another 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, bye. What are you standing for? Go and work on there! Possessed oh, man! Stupid! Come on, lower gates! Keep my gates open. Bless me. Come on, lower these gates! You got to find out more. Can you move? Now? Offend for what? Officer, did you hear what I said? Arrest them! No, 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 you don't shout at me, okay? You don't shout at me in your own house! Yeah. Okay, madam, can you move now? Oh, that's more like it. Mommy, Take these little children to the flies and you go. Thank you! Move out, please. Move! I say move that time. Sergeant, move out. Wait, Steve. Move. What's the meaning of all this? I stand outside. I'm red man, have you talk to me? Is something wrong with you? I'm gonna move. Do you know who I am? Do you? Move! Move! Officer, I'm not going to fight anyhow. I'm not going to fight anyhow. Come on, move. Right there, will you shut up? Move, 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 move. Move out, right. Move out, right. able to make it and I don't want you to come immediately there's a lot going on don't bother to come till I call you next week all right yeah yeah I'll give you a shout next week all right oh bye 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 darling take care of yourself bye Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Okay now. Bye bye. Come in. Sir. Here they are, sir. Alright. Come good. Like I said before, it's a simple and straightforward matter that resolves itself. And you people took it too far by doing something illegal and criminal. Officer, it is not me. It is that Stephen and his mother. Look, it's enough. What, Chief? Yes, my dear. 
or advice that you take them home, call the kindred, have a kind of family meeting and try to resolve the matter. But if you cannot, I think we'll step in and do it our way. Is that okay? We want to thank you so much, Officer, for your understanding. And we also want to assure you that as soon as we leave here, this matter is as good as over. Alright? So, I thank you once again. No problem. No problem. It's a family matter. It's not to be, not supposed to be any problem. Okay, thank you. Bye bye, madam. Thank you. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Interest in this man. I was just on my way to go and see the IPO when I saw those fools walking out of the police station. Jesus. Hi. They have allowed them to run away there instead. Hi. That's what they ought to have done. Let them run away there. Jesus Christ. Honey, honey, if you ask me, I will say we travel to London and stay there for one year and then we can now come back with enough strength. No, 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 sweetheart, I don't even think about that, okay? Because doing that will make them feel I'm running away. And you know I will not. I cannot. What sort of nonsense is this? Well, sweetheart, go prepare me and mama food, okay? While I sit down. Jesus Christ. Honey. I've been meaning to ask you about this property you're struggling with, Ndoka. Oh, the property Ndoka is struggling with me? Okay, I'm sorry for the misinterpretation. You had better be. Now, you listen to me. That property is mine and will remain mine, okay? Honey, why don't you just settle Ndoka financially and then go build your own somewhere else? Never. Never. Listen to me, Helen. Let me not hear you say this again. Never, ever say this again. Do you know they can respect that property com commands in the property market? Do you know? We lived off it while our father consolidated his own, his, his, his own business empire. So will my children live off it while I consolidate my own, my own business empire. That is the spirit. So can we drop this subject, please? I just can't stop wondering why you want that property more than any other thing in this whole wide world. I just told you the reason. And like I said, let us drop this subject. girl ever does is ask for money. I have not seen her result for once. Well, honey, you know, we're her parents and she needs her financial support, okay? And moreover, I need some money myself. You need what? What happened to the 150000 I gave you last week? Honey, listen to yourself talk. Am I supposed to be your housemaid or something? And for crying out loud, what's 150000 now these days? A lot of money. Sweetheart, a whole lot of money. You see, this is the reason why I don't like coming to you for money. Why can't I just have my own account? So what difference does it make? Okay, fine. Fine. How much money is it that you need, by the way? 
Well, very well then. I need a, a, a change of car. You promised. What is wrong with the car you're driving? Oh, come on, darling. You're the latest G-Money in town. And your wife here does still look trendy in the latest executive salon car. We are the best perfumes. We are the best designer dresses. So that when I'm passing, people start referring to me, pointing fingers and saying, that's the latest G money swag. Oh, please, can you sit with this someone and tell me how much money you need? Let's start with a half a million naira. Then tomorrow I can go out and find out how much cars are costing these days. All right. I'll give you 500,000 naira. But that will be it for this year. Stingy go. You think you're smart? I'll give you 500,000 naira and that will be it. I haven't started with you yet. Travel? Oh, huh? I mean, if he doesn't want to travel, then let us travel. Huh? Oh, we, we can't keep on postponing this Paris trip, baby. Mm, come on. Don't get yourself worked up for nothing, okay? The wheel hasn't finalized yet. The wheel hasn't taken effect yet. When it does, and the liquid cash start flowing in, then I'm going to spoil you. See, okay? Don't get angry, okay? Baby, we have to change this hotel. Sweetheart. We will be coming to the tourists. Sweetheart, there is nothing wrong with the song that we are, okay? Oh, come on. You are a billionaire's wife. <laughs> Let us spend this money. Mm. Okay. You just be a little bit patient with me, okay? So when the liquid cash start flowing in, then I'm gonna spoil you silly. You know, <laughs> baby, I wish you could just stay behind no. tonight. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you a treat. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. The money. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Do you think I'll forget? I know you will never. <laughs> okay, here yeah, now. The money. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks a lot, baby. Uh, so, I got to go now, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. you. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Okay. I have a feeling why these people want to see you, the elders. They want to discuss the property matter. Now let me tell you something. Don't let them convince you into giving up that property, okay? Am I sleeping? Good. Look, I am only attending this meeting because they came to bail us. But why attend this meeting at Ichi Ebube's house when it's obvious he cites he did? Why can't they come here for the meeting? That's a point you know. Well, I think if we don't attend this meeting the elders will use it against us when they meet next let's go but you know what when we get there bribe bribe those elders with good money so you can buy their loyalty don't you know who you are talking to the chip of the old log that's my son <laughs> Mm. 
Ibn Naka was a great man, an achiever, although he kept to himself. But we all had to mourn his death when we got the news. More sad that you, members of immediate family, did not inform us traditionally before proceeding to bury him. No, Ebube, come back. That is an issue reserved for another time. Let's face the one at hand now. Well, if you say so, Monsu, Naka is dead and buried. Only for us to be at the police station to bell the first son, his wife and mother. Ndoka, what is the problem? My elders, may you live long. May the gods protect you. You all knew when my father took my mother for a wife. My late father was a businessman. Look, my friend, if you were not my elder brother, I would have asked you to shut up. Spare us all this, all this boring history and answer the question they asked you. May thunder fire you. I'm not your husband. Enough, Enough. 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 Answer the question they asked you and you're talking about. Enough! Go straight to the point. It is my mother's sweat and contributions that my late father used to build the three twenty story building. My mother's sweat and contributions. Now this one may claim to it. My friend, shut up. Nduka, shut up. I uh, elders. My late father. My beloved father. Built those three twenty story buildings and named them after me. Stephen Ameji Naga. Mama, is it not correct? It is true, my son. That's my name. And every day he lived until he, he died. He always emphasized every day that those buildings will be mine. Yes, sir. Shut up! Oh, shut up! Pretentious Billy Goat! Shut up! Do you even know the architect that designed those buildings? Do you? Answer me! You're here, laying claim to what you don't even know the background to. Mm -hmm. How dare you? Why won't you know? You must have slept with him, that is how you got to know. So I. What sort of rubbish is this? What a shame on Naka. Mosu, let him suffer the shame. Let his family kill themselves and drink each other's blood. Agumu, why are you talking like that? Naka made money. But he never remembered us, his relatives. Neither did he come close to us. He went ahead and married all the women in town. He caused it. So let him first the shame. Well, if you say so. Nine. Everything was given to Steve and Enduka, except for this building that was given to my son Kelvin. You mean Naka actually gave it to Kelvin? That's what the will say. Why then isn't Doka and Stephen fighting over it? No, that's exactly one thing that baffles me. Both of them want this building at all costs. And both of them are aware of this will as being read out by the lawyer. They said that nothing, the will will not stop them in getting the building or destroying whoever that stands on their way. This is deeper than meets the eye. 
Something tells me that someone has to die before this issue is resolved. God forbid, man. That's why I told Kelvin, my son, to remain wherever he is. I don't want him to die. Well, uh, our wife, nice. we have heard you. You have to go now. We will call you and the other wives again. All right, Nye. Please, both of you should help me resolve this issue. Nye, tell Lolo that I'll see her later. Bye-bye, okay. Nye. I don't want. This is the sort of issue I don't want to involve myself in. But it concerns all of us. For what? Let me ask you. If Kevin gets the house, what will it fetch us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Or if Ndoka gets the house, it is the same thing. I don't want. What are you saying in essence? Let them kill themselves. That family, they are something else. After all, Naka was advised not to marry three wives, but he refused. Yes. Let them kill themselves. Yes. Yes. You have a point, yes. on top of this same building who defeated the Dominion Tigers. It was on top of this same building who crowned the six black eagles who opened the world of the great memorial upon us. I remember that night so clearly and I kept saying to myself I shall be crowned king on top of this same building that became our sacred ground. Send you into the brotherhood because of this building. Hand it over to us, and no man or woman different from us shall enter the last floor. You failed! Uh, it's only a matter of time. Okay? The property will be mine. Time you have not. The council have decided it. Two months, you shall hand over this building to us. 
house where you shall take your daughter as sacrifice as previously no, arranged. No, 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 please. Not my daughter. Not my only daughter. Please. Just, just, just give me time. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of everything. Then secure and hand over the building to us by making it your home. Else, we shall proceed with your daughter. Then your wife. No, 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 please. Uh, uh, master, master. this stock market and from what I got up the dividends from those shares will be great. At least he was fair to me. He, he gave me most of the property. Okay, welcome. Okay. 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 Look who is here! Kelvin! Is this you? <laughs> Big brother in the government! Where's my man? Jesus! Hey, mom! <laughs> That's my son! How you doing, mom? Good. Yeah, you look I'm good. Great. You shocked me. You didn't tell me you were coming home. I did? You should have called. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, mom, I was surprised, surprised. And of course he surprised me. Come on, let's so go right good. inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, brother, the girl. Er, auntie. You're not going out right now, are you? No, we're, we're right much here. Around. Just having a drink. <laughs> wow, okay. right on, man. Right on. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Kelvin, Kelvin. <laughs> Two faced hypocrites. That's what they are. I'm sure she invited him here for a reason. What other reason than to come back, hand over the property, and go back to wherever he's coming from? Cheers. Kelvin, what's the matter with you? What do you mean, Mom? I mean, you sound like a son of How come can he just come home like that? Well, is there anything that matter now? Kelvin, I told you to stay back in the States. Until I come there, then I answer all your questions. Well, what kind of questions are you going to answer? I mean, you sound like there's something wrong. Calvin, everything you do not expect is wrong. There is war going on right here. I mean, thank God you freshened up, please get dressed. I'll take you to that hotel. I've already made a reservation, all right? And from there, you go back to the States. <laughs> Mom, come on now. I mean, I'm through with my studies, you know, I have a master's degree now. I want to settle down here in my home, and, you know, I'll face whatever it is. Oh, my God. Calvin, quit arguing with me, damn it. You are going to the hotel, and you go back from there. God, help me. Whatever. All right. Now get dressed, let's go. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be with you, Mom. I'll be with you. Right, I'll be waiting in the car for you. Let's go.
baby. What is it? It's my husband. What about him? That man is becoming more stingy than ever. Do you mean like father like son? I thought he promised to buy you a car. That man has made me so many promises and he has never fulfilled one. So, what are you going to do now? No. Is what are we going to do about it? How do you mean? As I speak to you right now, in the next three days, my husband is going to transfer the sum of 200,000 US dollars into a foreign account. As I speak to you right now, that money is sitting right in my bedroom. Wait a minute. What are you trying to tell me? Huh? Are you saying that $200,000 is in your bedroom? That's what I just said. Then go ahead and take the money and bluff your husband. You think like a child. How do you mean? I want you to steal that money. Do you want me to steal the money? Yes. Are you insane? <laughs> huh? Have you stolen before? How do you want me to do that? 200,000 US dollars, anybody can go insane. I can go insane. You can go insane. So you stop being stupid. Go out there and get boys to help you do that job. I will do my part. Okay? What are you insinuating? I should steal the money while your husband is at home? Oh, darling, this is exactly why I love you. You're getting the picture ready. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Come right here, baby. Come on. <laughs> this is a beautiful one. A master plan. So this is what has been happening? Well, it's getting worse day by day. That of why I told you to stay back at the States until I meet there with you. You mean the type of guy that put poisoning and no one cared to investigate or find out, I mean, carry out an autopsy or something? Well, we all participated in the cooking. So who are you going to kill? But that's not the issue, Kelvin. The issue is that I want you to go back to the States till this day when it's oh, over. Oh, Mom, listen. I am not afraid of war just because I heard there's one. This whole thing has to resolve, okay? Well, son, you can't resolve it. People have tried and failed. People older and wiser than you are. Calvin, please, go back to the States. Please. Oh, God, my mother, listen. Papa gave them everything, and then why did they want my own share? I have asked that question many times, and all I got was strange answers. Call them please. Go back home. You need to go. I need some time to think about it. But all I need you to think out now is the next available flight back to the States. It's my son, please. You're my only son. Aren't you going to send me off, Kelvin? Kelvin. Baby, baby, you forgot your phone.
everything. Don't start, so that you won't use that to cover cover up what I asked you. Look, woman, I have told you, times are hard. I need all the monies I can lay my hand on for the factory. So don't go asking me about any money, okay? But you know you can still get enough. Come on. Sell the, the one of the factory or, or the properties. You must be out of your mind. No matter what you sell, you're still going to have enough. Ah, and don't you forget, I, I, I know what you got from the wheel. Uh-huh. And that should not give you the right to make unreasonable demands of me. Do, do, do you in any way know how much the car you're asking me for cost? I can't even get that car for my mother. God damn it! I am your wife! Ah! What's all this with my mother this, my mother that? Your mother had her own husband! And don't you forget the part I played in this, your new gotten wealth! And whether you like it or not, you will get me that car! Uh, I don't know what is wrong with you. Every time, I'll ask something you won't give me. Give me money? No. Buy this? No. I, I, I don't understand this shit. Thank you, man. What is it? You gave visit on. Yes, who could that be? I don't know the man. I so say America, the man they speak. He said be your brother. L let him in. Yes, sir. Ah, Kelvin, how are you? I'm good. When did you get back? This morning. Sit down. Good to see you. Uh, some to drink? No, we've had enough of the hotel. The hotel? Yeah. You stay in the hotel? What about the family house? What kind of family house? Why would I stay in a place where there's so much worry? Oh, oh, oh that's good. That means your mother must have uh, acquainted you with what's going on there. That's very good. Look, brother Steven, what's going on? I mean, why is everyone trying to tear the family apart, huh? It's a good thing you're asking. And I'm glad you're back, all right? It was just a simple mistake father and his lawyer made over the so-called lousy will that was read towards the other day about the three 20-story buildings that father willed to me. You know, but somehow it was uh, 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 the lawyer, while he was uh, reading the will out, made some mistake. And I called Nduka, Nduka, come, let's sit down, all right, correct this mistake. But Nduka and his mother wouldn't listen. You and Brother Nduka both have lion's share, right? I mean, why can't you just leave what belongs to me alone? Belongs to you? What are you talking about, Kelvin? Father willed the property to me. You and brother and the crew should be satisfied with what you've got. There's no need quarreling or battling over it. I see. I should have known that. Well, Sunduka sent you to me, isn't oh, come it? Come on, brother Steven, don't twist your mind. Oh, so Kelvin, you got back from wherever and joined your camp? Huh? You and your mother? Hey, you kept my mother out of this, all right? Burn up now. Kelvin, you don't walk into my house and shout at me. Huh? Now get out of my house or I'll throw you out. You asking me out of your house, huh? You heard me loud and clear. Get out! I guess it's part of all that madness, right? Oh, well, you can call it whatever you want. At least it let me go. Stay away from this blazing heat. It's encroaching fast on you. Else. Regret it all your life. Now get out. Get out of my house. Get out. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I will deal with you, both of you, one at a time. Nonsense. What sort of nonsense is this? Inside my own house. And stay permanently out of my house. I don't want to ever see you here again.
nonsense. What kind of rubbish is this? You've joined into gay gang, you're signing to cocktail to, to, to fight me or what? Can, can, can you imagine this nonsense? Can, can, can you imagine this? It's not Kelvin. Kelvin? Is he back? He's back from wherever, I don't know. It's okay. Let's sit down. No, 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 you just leave me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't It's okay. Let's no, sit, sit down. down. Can, can, can you imagine him walking to my house okay. in his gay manner? I know. Mm, it's okay. Let's just sit down, okay? I guess the mother sent him. Can you imagine it? Calling me brother Stephen. All right? Yeah. Instead of prostrating to say good evening, sir, or whatever. For all you know, he must have joined Nduka's camp. Oh, well, that camp is going to be his burial site. You know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, the drama. Drama in your family, in, in our own house. Buy me the card, no. Oh, your brother, no. Can you keep that issue out of this? That's not what we're talking about. Kevin, I know you're a reasonable young man. And you understand me, just like I understand you. I want to make you an offer. A very reasonable offer of 20 million naira in cash. <laughs> 20 million? Wow, big brother Vincent. But what for? I want you to hand that property over to me legally. Let's just say we're following the wheel. <laughs> you brother, you gotta be joking. For real? Like, even if you had to dial the money to fifth a million, I don't think it'll, it'll make me let go of the property. <laughs> My father gave it to me, man. Do you understand? Kelvin, I remember when you were younger than this and in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Whenever you needed money, anything. You never went to that. You always came to me. Now I'm coming to you in like manner. Hand the property over to me, legally. Big brother, come on, man. It's the only bond between me and father's loving memories. I mean, the children will also cherish it. My children, you know? It's my mother's toy. Her sweat. Her name is on it. To watch it go away like that because of some minor legal mistakes is unacceptable. I don't know if you understand. Yes, I do understand, but you know that Papa built it, you know? Father built it, man. I mean, we all can build ours someday, can't we? Uh, somehow. But, I mean, come to think of it, with all you've got, you should be able to build yours. Look, I really have to go, okay? Kevin, don't walk out on me. I was told you went to see Steve before I threw my car. But that's not an issue. I can do whatever I want to do with my time. Now, listen. It would be a big mistake if you play into the hands of Steve. Steve is a finished man. And so too will you be. But don't you ever <coughs> threaten me. I'm not that little secondary school boy you used to know. I'm a grown man now. Got it. Alright, calm down, calm down. Be careful. That was it. Let me bring the offer a little higher. I'll give you. A hundred million naira. Furnish me with an account. Anywhere. Right now. On the rebound, all right? You have a nice day. He refused your offer? Yes. <sighs> I'm sure he's in Steve's camp now. <laughs> Certainly. It's obvious. Now, you don't give up on that property, son. Don't give up on it. 
I watched my late husband put up that property with my love and support for him. Don't let them take the property. When I die, I want my grave to be in front of the property so that anybody that passes by would look in into the glorious property and see the grave of a woman that stood beside the successful man that put up such a property. I assure you, it will be done. Good. That is my pride and my honor. Shaka, I know you're doing for me. Yes, I will. So I'll get your lunch ready, okay? For me, of course, yes, madam. Thank my uh -huh. I saw that they celebrate. Oh, no, 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 it's not my organ that is celebrating. I am the one that is celebrating. Ah, thank so, you, I madam. want you to join me. Thank you, madam. Oh, you're welcome. Make I go inside my room. Make I go oh, no, 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 dear, don't worry. You just sit down here, eat your food, and enjoy it. When I'm through, I'll come down and pick the plate. Okay. Don't worry, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the good work. Yes. Enjoy the food. Madame, they enjoy you. Hi! Let me drop this one. If I go somewhere, I go out and I take one this one down.
On vous dit stop Your own phone. Uh, I don't have any credit on this phone now. What do we do? I don't know how we're supposed to call them now. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, Hey, stop! 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 Hey, Is there we have dollars? Where? I said, there. Oh, 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 oh,
with 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 a mini device. I don't think it will be wise to leave that guy like that. I don't trust him. He knows of course. And he knows the woman as well. With the point at him. He's definitely gonna point at us. So what do we do? I thirst for their own blood and start to devour their flesh with my own teeth. That's what I want. Your heart is filled with great pain. Oh, yes, it is. And that's why I want justice. That is why I demand justice. I want them dead tonight. That cannot be done. What do you mean that can be done? Is not the great master, the great Domelia itself, the lion that divorced fire and brimstone. Until you hold and turn that building to us, Domelia the Great Lion, I've chosen that building. On top of that building is a sacrificial ground where we can have our conference every night as vultures of the night. Till then, no power from Domelia. And that's why the council wants you to possess it at all cost. Then let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and have the conference at the top of the building. No one can stop us. Before the sacrificial ground can become fatal, it must be pronounced your own. The entire last floor will be locked up year in, year out. Only our members can enter it and have access to it. And, and, and what if I buy another property? Huh? Because I have the money to do that. The great Domelia, I've chosen that one. And you placed it. Yes, I did. But my wife has just been assassinated by the same people struggling that property with me. Look, look, look I need help. Time is running out. Your daughter is next. Kelvin, you see why I asked you not to come back home? Better to sort this thing words out for all. They could have killed you, you know. You would have been dead by now. And you know you are the only son I've got. Do you want me to run mad, Kelvin? Please. 
I cannot continue to run away. You forced me to go to school abroad because of the same thing years ago. Then it was different. Now it's worse. So worse for God that they want you dead. I'm not even Can't you kill understand? Them first. Calvin, you told me they offered you a hundred million for the property. Please sell it and go back home and live in peace. What? I mean, Mom. Are you out of your mind or what? Of course I'm not. Well, my children need the legacy, man. After all, I know the money comes and goes. There wouldn't be children if you end up dead. I don't need that money, Mom. I'm going to face them and fight them and defeat them until they respect me. Calvin, please. Go back home. Please. Please, son. Please. I don't have any other body. You. Oh, honor, ego, and prestige are at stake here, Mom, okay? Uh, I'm so screwed, Mom. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, I give up. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna get him. Get it? It's not gonna stop out this way. So go get him. Get it! Tell me, I meant to put away this, their guns. I hear the sight of guns. What are you talking about? 
I want you to see these men behind me, and I want them to see you! Let me tell you something, big brother. Look, if anything happens to me, brother and Docker, even if it's a motor accident, they're gonna come and wipe your entire father out! Oh, Kevin, what's gonna happen to you? And let me tell you something, you might get lucky, who knows? And get me killed. But I swear to God, they'll come find you, and you and your entire family will go down the grave! Shut up! Hey, but please, it's just a little family problem. If you like, bring paper and pen, I will sign for you. Nothing will happen to you. Please, in the name of Jesus. Let's get out of here. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, take control. Amen. 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 Tiny rat humiliate us. Mama, Calvin is a very dangerous man. I hear he's a gangster in the United States. Too dangerous for you to handle? I tried. But the idiots I sent failed. You sent boys to do a man's job. Now why don't you handle him yourself? How many will I take care of? You saw the hoodlums you brought here. If we try anything, they will come here and kill all of us. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to tell me that you're giving up that property? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. But I need time. I, I don't think Kevin will be easy. I am totally disappointed in you. Absolutely disappointed. I never knew I had a chicken-hearted, lily-livered baby as a son. I, I, I just can't. God, I, this, this, this is totally unacceptable. I can't take it from you. <laughs> about Helen's death. Yes, I did. Why should you worry about that? Hmm. Honey, the other day Kelvin came here with gunmen. Steve is after your life. Where will all this lead us to? You don't expect me to back away from that property like a baby. It is better to back away a coward and live than to die a hero over a cause that makes no meaning. Now listen, my mother's pride is on that property. I must redeem it. Redeem it with your own life. See, if you and Steve kill one another, Kelvin gets those properties. If you don't, Kelvin still gets them because that's what the will says. Honey, please, think about this. Please, for my sake, please. <laughs> Steve, your daughter phoned. She says she will be coming home. She's coming home? Yes. Mama, let her wait till the end of the year. Hmm. Anyway, I have already informed her about her mother's death. Yes. You did? Yes. Mama, why? Eh, you should have waited. She ought to know, Steve. 
Moreover, I have informed your wife's relations. They must know about it, Steve. Mama Leke, listen, you have to call her back. Tell her to stay back in London. Because her coming back to Nigeria is not going to bring her mother back. No. Okay. I will call her later. Please. But please, for the meantime, try and eat something. You have not taken anything into your stomach since yesterday. Please, my son, please. I've heard you. Okay. Take off the blindfold. Hello, Kelvin. Behind all this? Oh, yes. Just like you are behind my inability to get and achieve my destiny. Oh, God, man, what are you going to do? What are you going to get out of doing all this, man? Just exactly what you got from killing my wife. Well, you didn't kill your wife. What are you talking yes. about? Tell me all that. Save that explanation until you meet Lucifer in the hour. What do you want from me, Steve? So you now want to know what I want. <laughs> Surprise. Well, if you must know, everything, everything that belonged to me, that's what I want. Look, Steve, everything was shared amongst us equally. No, it wasn't supposed to be shared equally. Those buildings, those three 20 story buildings belong to me. You know something? As a kind hearted man, and as my little brother, in exchange for those buildings, I will give to you the plywood factory. That should be okay for you. Over my dead body. I swear to God. Never, never will I go against Father's will. <laughs> You're still proving stubborn, Calvin. All right, we'll see how it goes. Be prepared to meet your doom. Deal with him. I'm tired of contesting for that property. Let Kevin have it. <laughs> oh God. You're such a disappointment. So all you want to do is sit back and watch my hard work and toil go into the hands of my enemies. God. My own son betray me? 
Come on, Mama. Come to think of it. We have enough. It will only take time. If business goes well, we get something better. I don't want anything better. I want that particular property. I can't believe you're such a coward. So you're not even ready to fight for it. God, fine. If you are not ready to do something, I will do something, okay? Excuse me. You said you want them dead. I want them to die a horrible death. But you cannot kill a man whose hands are clean without offending the gods. Their gods. hands are not clean. Their hands are soiled with blood. They are at war and they have struck me. And I know that you're the only one that can help me. Oh, the Kurebu? Oh, Boo Boo. You've had her. <laughs> In that case, it is done. Take. Find a way to make them drink it. Once they test it, instant death becomes their person. How do I get my enemies to dine with me so they can drink this water? It is my business to prepare the weapon. Your business to use it and how you use it, it's your business. look too good today. You see? Whoa. Whoa. I will not hesitate to have you killed. It's so easy, just like this. What water. I need to drink some water, man. You need water. Please. You need water. You see what hell is like? No water in hell. But you can leave, if only you can sign this document transferring the ownership of the pockets to me. Simple. Look, I will never give away the blessings my father gave to me, to anybody else, not you, not nobody! Oh, you're not prepared to do that? Okay. There is always a weak point to every find ourselves. Perhaps if you get to see your mother killed oh right before you, don't blame it on me. Leave her alone. 
Leave her out of this, man. She's got nothing to do with this, man. Bullets! So! Go get the bottle. Thought about all you told me, you know, concerning the family disunity, and um, I figured, look, why don't we just all come together and become a one family like, like we used to be? And then I thought, look, if Kelvin inheritance is the property, he can have it. Must you bury me in front of that property? No. So now you understand why we're fisting. Mom. Yeah. Very wise decision that you've changed your mind. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you. So we went to the market, bought all this. We're going to cook, invite the family members to come wine and dine with us. More like a peace feast. Something I call a family reunion. Splendid. I wish uh, you had told me earlier. But um, I'll give you some money. Then I'll get a cow. Really? I think we need to invite every member of the family, even the extended ones. Oh, that's really nice. You know what? I need to go out now. I want to go to Steve's house and then to Edith's house and personally invite them. Good, good. I will soon be back. Okay. All right. I'll get you guys some money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, please, Anne, please, please, get the children to cut up the vegetables for the salad. Then blend the tomatoes for the jollof rice and everything. The meat, fish, you know, just mix them up and boil, do whatever you can. Don't forget the drinks. Get them chilled. The wines, the champagnes, the juices, everything. I will be back in a chiffy. Okay? Uh, wow. hey. Mama? Are you back? Mama? I, I brought the money. Mama is not back. Oh, yeah? She went to call the butchers and the other people. The money I promised. Okay. Okay. I sure I've left this water here. It could spill on the bed. Put it in the fridge. Okay.
with the tomatoes. Oh, beautiful. So, did you get to see the people you went to look for? No, I went to their homes. Nobody was there, but I left um, messages for them. Phew. You know what I want now? A cold glass of water. Chilled, please. Okay. Oh, my God. See who's got here. Mama. Your mama. 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 Sit down. Sit down. Please let me sit in my seat. Oh, will you shut up? Don't hurt her, man. Are you now willing to transfer the ownership of the property to me? It's not so difficult. All you need to do is sign the paper. Steve, let it go, man. It's not so difficult, okay? 
sign it. All you need to do is sign the paper. <coughs> man, damn, man, still. We have one blood, man. One family name. What are you gonna gain from doing all this? Stop! Stop I said stop! Just stop and cut it out! <laughs> That was then. It was then. The only bond that held both of us together left with the death of our father. I've got myself a bigger father. Okay. An absolutely bigger father. Now, are you going to sign the documents or not? Please, yeah. You and I can talk things over, man. I swear to God, okay? Just let it go. Give me the gun! Oh, come on, Miss Steve. Please. Oh, don't do Please. this, man. If you must kill me, let me finish the event of my father, man. I'm gonna shut up. So, are you prepared to sign this document, transferring the ownership of the property to me? We're talking over, man. Just let her go first. Blame yourself for your mother's death. <laughs> Hey, man, I told you, I'm gonna wash your back. Mom, it's all right. I'm all right. Mom, it's all right. Oh, man. Mom, I can't. Man, I forget. Let's go. Mom, it's good. Mom, ouch. Let's go, let's go. It's easy, man. Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 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 Let